Hi, this is a recording on hypothesis testing. On one sample Z test, example 3.6. The recommended daily zinc intake for men older than 50 years is 50 mg. A sample of this man yields N equal to 115. That means the sample size N is 115. The sample mean X bar is 11.3 mg. And the sample standard deviation is 6.43 mg. Let me be the average daily zinc intake for the population of men older than 50 years. Our now hypothesis is not say that mu is equal to 15 mg. And we are testing this now hypothesis with alternating hypothesis HA. Since our sample mean is 11.3, we may suspect that the population mean mu is less than 15 mg. Obviously, we will reject the null hypothesis H0 if the sample mean x bar is too small. We are going to look at the test statistic z equal to x bar minus mu over s over square root n which is 11.3 minus 15 over 6.43 over square root of 115 and this is equal to negative 6.17 the question is is negative 6.17 a strong evidence against the null hypothesis h not mu equal to 15 we need to ask what is the probability of z less than negative 6.17 this number is called the p-value. And you can use a calculator to find out. We can use the calculator to find the probability of z less than a certain number. For example, we want to find the area in the standard normal curve for z less than negatives 6.17 in a calculator this is called p of negative 6.17 if you are going to find the area between 0 and negative 6.17 under the standard normal curve this is called q of negative 6.17 whereas if you're trying to find the area to the right of negative 6.17 this is called R of negative 6.17 so let me call my calculator I select the mode to be the statistic mode 3 then I press AC, get out, select shift 1, and then select 7 for distribution. And now I choose 1 for P, then negative 6.17. Close the bracket, and then equal. It's 3.4282 times 10 power minus 10, which is almost zero is what I have written down
this p value equal to zero means that if a null hypothesis is not where mu equal 15 were true, it would be almost impossible to observe a test statistic as small as negative 6.17. So we check H0 in favor of alternative hypothesis mu less than 15. That is, the average daily intake for 50 year old men is less than 15 mg. Another method is by looking at the critical value where you can make a decision. After you have the test statistic already, which is for this case, z equal to x bar minus mu over s over square root n, and then you set your level of significance alpha, which is normally 5%. Or 0 0.05. That means the area here is 5% or area add up is 5% each. So that means that for example this area is alpha whereas this area is alpha over 2 and this one alpha over 2. And if your jet statistic which is x bar minus mu over s over square root n for inside a critical region, then we reject the null hypothesis. Otherwise, if the jet statistic is not inside the critical region, then the null hypothesis is not rejected.